everyone, in this video, we'll show you how we made our DIY gel electrophoresis. These are the materials that you'll need. You'll need a few food coloring that will act as your sample, masking tape, pencil, stainless steel wire, some craft sticks, big and small, as you can see right over here. Agar agar, you'll see there's also some cutting supplies, a shallow plastic container, glycerin, and baking soda. First things first, make a comb. This comb is to make the wealth in the gel later on. Here you can observe that we are estimating how much of the smaller craft sticks need to be cut in order for it to sit just above the bottom of the box. Approximately 1 to 1.5 inches from the hook. Once you get the smaller sticks ready, you can stick five of these teeth on one side of the biggest stick using masking tape. Now we are weighing grams of agar-agar powder. Add in liters of buffer solution. Put the solution in the microwave until it starts to bubble. Give a little stir and you got your gel for the electrophoresis. Pour the agar-agar solution into the plastic box with the comb in it. Solidifies at room temperature and get the side of the uh, gel using resin. Cut the wires using ties accordingly and put them in the sides of the plastic box. Be careful when using scissors and ties. So this is the 
Then you can pour in the buffer solution made out of two grams of baking soda and one liter of water. Take out the comb. Now you will have small wells in the gel. Using the pipettes, drop the food coloring samples into the well. It is important for you to make sure the tip of the pipette is inside the well before dropping the sample in. Now, let's run the system. Connect the elevator clips to the batteries and standard steel wires. Make sure the positive and negative terminals are connected correctly. You want the negative terminal to be on the sides that have the samples. Don't make the same mistakes we did during our first try. Food coloring is negatively charged. Therefore, if the positive terminal is put onto the side of the wells, then the food coloring will be attracted towards the positive terminal, which causes it to move towards the wrong side. All that's left is to wait for the sample to move. So what's happening here? In molecular biology, this technique is used to separate biological compounds such as DNA and protein based on their size. Like the colored guys, DNA and proteins are negatively charged, so they will migrate towards the positive electrode at different speeds depending on their size.